you are new here welcome back if you are not and um, so today for you i have for you a boohoo.com haul um and it is based mainly around evening wedding guest attire because i have a wedding i'm due to go to in the summer so i thought why not it's that time of year lots of people are getting married i mean like, like literally lots of people get married so many people get married this year is ridiculous um it's not ridiculous it's fabulous it's wonderful it's a celebration but yeah lots of people get married which means lots of reasons to buy pretty new dresses um and I, but i know times are hard so all these dresses i've bought from boohoo are around the, i don't think there's one that costs more than 30 pounds um, i will link everything below obviously um but yeah, so they're all very affordable. I have picked a pair of shoes as well. I've picked a pair that I feel will go with all of the dresses. They are all dresses because if you try to buy a suit from Boohoo, you're looking at about 50 quid. That's just your chop for the trousers and the jacket. And I know, obviously, that's not a lot of money. But when you think hey, you got to buy the top and then you've got to buy a bag, you buy shoes, it all adds up. And, you know, then you've got to buy a gift for the wedding as well. It all costs a lot of money. So I've gone for dresses because it's a one option one item option, should we say, obviously other than your shoes and your bag and accessories and stuff, but clothing wise, one item. <laughs> now that ramble's over, let's jump on in and I will show you what I got. So firstly, I'm going to show you the shoes and I've just realized I have had the new shoes on the table. <laughs> oh dear, let's hope that the whole bad luck thing isn't real. Um, let's put them on the floor for a moment. Okay. So the shoes come in a nice little knitted bag to keep them nice and protected. So they are just, I've just gone for like a, like a midi heel. It's nice chunky so it's not going to sink in any grass if you're on if that, that kind of venue for the wedding. And also it's not going like, to break your ankles. Um, I've gone for a bit of a wider coverage around the toe area because I don't know about you guys. But I love like the sandals that are just like one strap. But I just, my feet just slide about and then they don't stay. Whereas this one I've got a bit more coverage. Going to keep my feet nice and sturdy. And then again a nice thick strap to keep my feet nice and sturdy. I think these were around £15. I'm not 100% sure. It definitely wasn't more than 20. I'm, I'm sure it was like 15.99 or something. But again, as I said, I will link it all down below. So yeah, grab those in a size five. Now on to the dresses. Okay, so this first one, I don't even know what this one is because I was scrolling and it just took me straight to the movie Pretty Woman. If you've seen that, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, at the horse racing horse racing and she wears this beautiful like chiffony copper polka dot dress and that is what this is um so it is um it's like got a little fin strapped here so you're gonna need a specialist bra for this one ladies apologies um and then it's got a tie around the waist and then it's got just like a frill that goes down the middle sort of um but yeah, this is going to be a nice little, nice little elegant option. And to be fair, you could wear this during the day as well. I feel like you could totally get away with this as like a full day event rather than just evening. Of course, it'd be fine for just evening, but you could 100% wear this all day. Nice white heels, nice white fascinator. Oh, it's going to look darling. Let's uh, see how it looks. Okay, so this is the sort of... Excuse the brass straps, ladies. I do apologise. This is the sort of pretty woman style one I went for I think it's a bit big um I think I probably definitely could have got over 10 with this one um and it may fit slightly nicer um I do like it it's a lovely dress I think I would prefer if it was just one length rather than oh, people really silly. tilt it down just slightly rather than the um like the front bit sort of going up in the middle because it also goes up in the back maybe if it just went down at the went up at the front it would be all right but because it goes down at the front and back it's a bit I don't know. It's okay. It's a nice dress, but it is too big, I think. And ladies, if you do buy this, do not get dressed by yourself. It's just taken me like 20 minutes to get the two buttons at the back of the butt. Pan the butt. Um, and then I have the shoes on. Um, the shoes are nice, but they feel really loose. I'm not sure if they were like wide fit or something. And where they sit on the ankle, I feel like they're going to rub eventually. Like they're going to really irritate because they're moving up and down slightly. So maybe I need like a half size, I'm not sure, but they feel really loose. But other than that, I really like them. I really like the look of them. Um, they go up nice and easy, the heel's not too high. Um, I just feel like that's going to rub because they're a little bit loose. It's going to rub up and down. Um, but other than that, yeah, really nice shoes. I do like them. Um, yeah, so lovely dress. Um, 
as I say, you're gonna need a specialist bra with this one because look, it's all it's all out on show. So maybe one that like crossed over at the back or strapless, you know. That's never the most comfortable, is it? Um, but yeah, really nice dress. But I would, I would personally, I would get a size ten in this one. If you wear like a size, if you're a ten to twelve like I am, go for the ten because there's room in it. There is quite a bit of room in it. Um, yeah, cute little dress. Okay, I remember this one as well. I'm doing quite well with remembering. Considering I've had these since it's Saturday today, I've had these in my bedroom since so last Saturday. I didn't get around to filming last week. Um, so, I've been sat there a whole week, but here we are. Right. Hmm. Okay, so this one is like a nice little lacing of all the dresses I picked, by the way, in a size 12. Um, so this is a nice little lacy number. Um, so it's like a navy blue. This came in other colours. I think they had this in like a baby blue and a pink. Um, I think even a red. I'm not sure. But you know, Boohoo have always got lots of different colours. Um, so yeah, it's got adjustable straps, which looking at that, I'm definitely going to need to adjust. Um, and then it's nice little lace. Um, and then it's lined inside. Um, the lining is not as long as the dress. So there's a bit of like dress at the bottom where, there, where you can obviously see through the lace. But I thought, again, you could again wear this during the day as well. Put a nice... A, um, a nice little white shawl over it, the white heels, the white fascinator because you can't really wear white to wear them, but accessories is fine, I'm sure. Um, yeah, or again, as I say, just as just of the evening, this with a nice pair of nude shoes is gonna look really nice as well. Um, so here, that's that one, okay? So I have the navy one on again, it's a lovely looking dress, and for the price, you can't really complain, but I'm going to <laughs> because that's what I'm here for. Um, so again. I don't know that isn't necessarily the dress is all. It's more of a body shape thing. Obviously, my bottom half is a lot bigger than my top half, um, and it, it it could not be. I could not size down at all on the bottom half because my butt would not fit in. Like it's it is tight on the bottom and around the stomach ish area hips here. However, there's room here. There's room here. There's a hell of a lot of room here. I had to pull the um, adjustable strap like right up here just to keep me boobs in. Um, so yes, if you're bigger at the bottom than you are at the top, like me, I'm gonna say don't go for this dress unless, obviously, I mean if you're hourglass, it's gonna be perfect. Your boobs are just gonna fit right out. However, I am not that luxury. Um, so yeah, beautiful, beautiful dress for the price. Again, you can't really complain. However, it is noticeably larger up the noticeably looser up the top than it is at the bottom like there's nowhere around this dress if i went smaller on top it's not going to fit me bottom i've gone bigger on bottom it doesn't fit me top but but other than that i like it i really do like it i think it's a lovely style dress it's a lovely evening dress I just I just wish it fit but it doesn't okay i'm not gonna lie to you guys this one i have already opened i was planning on wearing this last weekend um but it didn't go well let me show you. So on the model, this looked absolutely amazing. So it's like, um, I don't even know what print, almost like a, it's not even a paisley print. I don't even know what kind of print that is, but it's a print, a very printed, printed dress, covered in prints. Nice little big frilly sleeves, frill around the edge and then sort of ruched in the middle with a frill around the middle here. Um, the model looked amazing. And to be fair, not on like just as it is i'd still really like the dress i think maybe it just doesn't fit me but i will show you anyway just to see how it fits so i can show you how it fits okay so i've got the yellow printed dress on i, re I really like this dress it's just far too big like the style of the ruche where it's so big it just makes me look like i've got like a massive stomach pouch if oh i definitely definitely should have just gone for the size 10 in this and i would have loved it i'm sure because i love the shape of it i love the style i love the print i love that i can just put it down a little bit at the bottom here it sort of goes down slightly it's not all one length where the ruche is i think actually it would go up where the ruche is technically wouldn't you but it doesn't it goes down <laughs> um that's the back so the frill obviously sits under the butt cheeks and then kicks out I love the frilly bit here, I love the sleeves, it's just too big. Um, but it's a lovely print and it's really soft as well, it's lovely and soft. It's going to be nice for the summer as well because it's nice and thin, like you're not going to be hot in this at all, it's really nice and cool. Um, and it's one of those that's quite conservative but still fun and still just looks fabulous, but in the right size. So again, ladies, if you're a 10 to 12, definitely, definitely size down in this dress because it's massive. 
pretty teeny tiny package, isn't it? Oh my. Oh wow. Oh, didn't think this one through. <laughs> That's gonna be fun trying to get into the back. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it is a midi sort of satiny print floral printed dress in the lovely like nudie pinky colour with a floral print on it. Um and then it's sort of like a cow neck, but the back from what I can see, I clearly didn't look at the back properly because I would not have done this to myself. It's sort of like crissy crossy at the back. There's like straps and stuff can you see to oh how am i gonna do this how am i gonna get myself dressed i'm gonna be needing assistance for this one i think um right body do me up <laughs> yeah that is that um very pretty and again i feel like you could totally get away wearing this the yellow one that i just showed you i don't feel like you could wear that all day to a wedding that's definitely an evening part dress but this one i probably feel like you could wear that all day again a nice little bolero or something or like a shawl some heels a fascinator Okay, I have the sort of silky floral one on. Now, from the front, I absolutely love the look of this dress. From the back, I'm not sure what I've done. I've just kept pulling and pulling and pulling. Excuse the bra, guys. So, I, that is definitely not right at the back. I don't know what on earth has gone on here. <laughs> um, I just kept pulling until it was tight enough. Um, and to be fair, it's still not tight enough. The bra situation is going to be an issue with this dress because obviously you can't wear a normal bra because it's all going to be on show. However, if you go braless, there's nothing to tuck the front into. And look at that, guys. Like, you're going to see everything. So you need something at the front to be able to tuck this into. Excuse my bra. I do apologise, but obviously once the straps are sorted out properly and you've got it all how it needs to be, you can then tuck it in at the front and it will look cute like that. Um, but I absolutely love the dress. Like, how pretty is this? It just hugs the figure so nicely. Um, but it's a nice long length, so it's not too much. If you see what I mean, you can still get away with wearing this to a wedding without, you know, looking like you're all hanging out. Um... Again, you can tuck it in at the front, so you're not really going to say a great deal. Obviously, the only really revealing bit is the back, but then you've got the length to sort of disguise that way. Oh, I absolutely love this dress. I need to just work out really how to sort the straps out, because doing it by yourself <laughs> and just pulling and pulling and hoping for the best isn't necessarily the best way forward but i do absolutely love it this is my favorite one so far i think it's so nice it's so flattering it's because you can pull it as tight as you want to that's why it's so flattering <laughs> um but yeah absolutely love this dress okay this last dress i i didn't order I didn't choose this one myself so my friend ordered this stuff for me because she has um free next day delivery and i wanted to get it done and then turns out i didn't get it done anyway um so it doesn't matter but the last dress that i told her to pick to order for me was out of stock in my site so I said okay fine just pick me a dress and I think I know what dress she's picked me just from you know, scrolling over here. Um, but yeah I think we'll do another dress so it's in the lovely dusty pink cut oh okay no I did not know the dress that she had picked for me would never have guessed that this was the dress I thought it was a dress in this fabric and this color but with black sleeves but it's not it's this one um, okay, so we have a spaghetti strap dress. As it comes to the waist, um, midi length, and it's sort of almost like a mermaid at the bottom. Um, okay, so it's fully stretchy because there's no zips or anything to get in that, so that's going to be nice and clingy. <gasps> oh, thanks, Tia. Let's see how this one goes. <laughs> okay, so I have Tia's choice on, and it is a lovely, lovely dress. It's the colour is definitely a bit of me. Do you know the love bit of pink? Um, it's a lovely dress and it's very, very like a figgy hugging. It's going to show you off nicely. My aquam is, look at this. It's just going to keep falling down. There is no adjustable straps. Also, you're definitely, definitely going to need to have um, shape around with this. Not to suck you in or anything, just to smooth you out because look. 
you can see underwear lines through it. So unless you go on Nicholas, ladies, which I wouldn't recommend to anybody, to be fair, you can going see it all. <laughs> so shapewear is definitely needed. And um, yeah, I just don't know what you're going to do about the top half unless you like, you know, where, I don't know, adjust the sleeves slightly, make them shorter to, you know, keep you in. Other than that, it's a really pretty dress. I really like it. I love it. I like the length. It comes just to the knee or just over the knee. Um, really pretty. Lovely colour. But yeah, definitely shape wearing and this top half with the boobage. It's just, unfortunately, it's not ideal. Um, so that was my um, Boohoo wedding guest evening outfit ideas. I know it doesn't have to be just for a wedding guest. You know, you can wear them to like Hindus, christenings. Um, parties, that birthdays, that sort of thing, any sort of event. Um, maybe not barbecues. It's a bit. I mean, the yellow one totally, totally. But maybe the rest a bit much for a barbecue. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, some lovely dresses, some lovely options. But there, are, I would say there are probably better places to be shopping for wedding guests. I outfit ideas like Quiz is one hundred percent my number one go to for a wedding guest outfit. Um, just because they have everything under one roof and it's so affordable as well. Um, but maybe I'll do a quiz haul for you guys soon. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Um, Molly's trying to get out. Um, yeah, really lovely dresses. Oh, the light is terrible. Really lovely dresses. Absolutely loved the silky satiny one with the flowers on it. I just need to work out how to work the back on that. This pink one is beautiful, but um, I just can't be walking around pulling my top up all day. Um, the Pretty Woman one, I absolutely love. Just... It's my, one of my favourite movies, so I just love the dress just for that anyway. Um, but it's just a bit too big. The yellow one, too big. The navy one is a shame. It's a lovely, lovely dress, lovely print. Like, the like, the lace is always nice for a wedding, isn't it? But it's just, with my big bottom half and small top half, just the dynamics didn't work for me. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the haul, guys. <laughs> Um, if you did, please get a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please do subscribe and let me know in the comments if there's any other shops or online shops you'd like me to do a haul from. Thanks for watching. Bye.